Welcome back, my friends. This is number two in the series, Five Bad Habits That Keep You Poor. Today, we're talking about lack thinking. Lack thinking. This is the second bad habit that is closely related to the first one. If you missed that, go back and watch it. But lack thinking. This is where you're constantly focusing on what you don't have rather than what you have have. Focusing on what you lack, what you need. Maybe it's where you subconsciously are feeling like, if I got that, somebody else would have less. Or if I get paid this, somebody else is missing out. My friend, God created the world out of nothing. There is no lack in his economy. He owns it all. If he has called you to do this, he will do it through you, 1 Thessalonians 5.24 says. And so don't be thinking about what you lack or how there is not sufficient. God has all sufficient funds. This scarcity mindset is where the enemy can get in and really wreak havoc on your life and on your thought life, on your business, making it difficult for you to see and take advantage of the opportunities and the prosperity that God is putting in front of you, those doors that he wants to open. Because we're so focused on what we don't have, we can't see what we do have and what opportunities are there. Instead, we need to practice gratitude. We need to shift our mindset to that abundance. We need to recognize the resources and the blessings that we already have and watch how those new opportunities begin to open up. You know how when you're looking for a car and you've decided on this make and model, suddenly you're seeing that car everywhere because your mind is focused on finding that car. The same is true with God's abundance. When you're focused on looking for what God is doing, looking for doors he's opening, looking for ways that he wants to provide for you, and for your people, then you will begin to see it. It will begin to come your way. It's not manifesting. It is God speaking into existence opportunity for you. And he, his favor is there. You just need eyes to see it. God's promises to us in 2 Peter 1 and 3 says, according to his divine power, he has given unto us all we need, all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that is called us to glory and virtue. Do you know your God? That could be why you're not seeing his provision. He's given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. That includes your business. Philippians 4.19, my God shall supply all you need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. This is not about you getting rich. It's about you stewarding his riches for his glory. God is a God of creation, not destruction. He gives life. He created out of nothing. Romans 4, 17 describes God as the God who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that did not exist. You want him to call into existence things in your life? Let's get to know him. Know him as the God who provides. Know him as the God who sees. Know him as the God of opportunity. Know him as the God of creation. Know him as the God of abundance, not of lack. If you need help with this idea, of the God of abundance working for you. I've got a free training I'm putting together around manifestation versus God's power to create. I'd love to have you go and grab that free class. Look in the show notes for the link to sign up for that. I think it'll be a blessing to you. But today, determine that you will trade in your lack thinking for God's creative and abundant thinking. Seek him, know him, you will have peace and blessing.